Hello! Today we're going to be working on a displacement tutorial. Now I'll explain what that is. Have you ever noticed when you go to put an overlay on a background paper, a geometric background paper, that it doesn't quite look right? Now, the reason for this is that if you took, I'm using a crumpled overlay as an example, if you took an actual piece of paper that was plaid or striped and crumpled it up, the lines of your paper, of the pattern of the paper, would follow the crumples. And when you add a digital overlay, you don't get that same warping of the pattern. So I'm going to show you a really easy way to fix this using a really powerful filter in Photoshop called the displacement filter, the displacement map. And it's so easy to do, just like all the rest of my techniques, because I like easy. So let's get started here. I have my overlay here, and it's just a PNG file. It's mostly transparent. The first thing I need to do is prepare this overlay and actually make it into a map for Photoshop to read. To do this, I need to desaturate it if it is a color overlay. Mine isn't, but if yours is, go to Image, Adjustments, and Desaturate. If it's a transparent overlay, you need to add a layer to it. Just fill that layer with white and then make that the background layer and merge your layers together. And now if your overlay has a lot of grays in it, you're going to want to adjust the levels to bring out the contrast. That looks pretty good. And then the last thing we do before we save it is just add a little bit of a, a Gaussian Blur. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now you just want a really soft blur to knock down the edges of your crumples a little bit and make it so that Photoshop doesn't torque your end product too much and make it look not realistic. So anywhere between a 0.5 and 1 pixel radius 7.7 .7 is a good place to start. Click OK to apply and now we're just going to save this. We're going to save it as a PSD file and that is the Photoshop default file. The best place for me to save things like this that I need to be able to find easily is right on my desktop. You may have a save folder that you use. Just put it someplace where you'll be able to find it again quickly. And there we go. Now I can minimize that, get it out of the way. Now I'm coming here to my paper. I'm going to select the layer that I want to apply the map to. In this case it's my background layer any paper that's saved as a JPEG that you're applying a crumpled or other textured overlay to, you're going to want to put it on your background layer. So I'm selecting my background layer and then I'm going to go to Filter, Distort, Displace. Now this little dialog box comes up and in most cases the default which is a horizontal scale of 10 a vertical scale of 10, stretch to fit displacement map, and repeat edge, edge pixels on undefined areas is what you want. The only thing that you might want to change are the horizontal and vertical scales. Don't go bigger. If anything goes smaller, a setting between 5 and 10 is usually a good starting place. I'm going to leave the defaults in most cases, you really just don't have to mess with the default settings here. So I click OK, and now it's telling me to choose a displacement map. I'm just going to go and go to my desktop and find 
that PSD file that I saved and opened it. Now Photoshop is going to take a minute to, do, to read that map and apply it to my background paper and I'll zoom in here and show you what I've got. Now you can see that my stripes are all bent and it doesn't look like much right now. But when I turn my overlay back on you can see that all those little distortions follow the lines of my overlay. And when I zoom out, that looks so realistic, like I took a piece of paper and crumpled it up and scanned it in. And that's all it takes to get realistic looking crumples on your geometric papers. Give it a try. Have a good time with it.